Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the advent of the Hijri year 1444. His Royal Highness prayed to the Almighty God to bestow His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and bless the Kingdom, the Arab and Islamic nations with prosperity and advancement. His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks in reply to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in which His Majesty expressed his sincere appreciation, praying the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness with wellness and to the Arab and Islamic nations, happy return. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged congratulatory cables with the leaders of Arab and Islamic countries on the advent of the Hijri year 1444. His Majesty the King expressed sincere congratulations on the occasion, wishing them abundant health and happiness and further growth and prosperity to their countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on the occasion of his country's throne day. His Majesty the King wished the Moroccan monarch good health and happiness and the people of Morocco further progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. In the cable, His Majesty the King hailed the deep-rooted fraternal relations binding the two countries and peoples, noting steadily growing ties. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged congratulatory cables with the leaders of Arab and Islamic countries on the advent of the Hijri year 1444. His Royal Highness expressed sincere congratulations on the occasion, wishing them abundant health and happiness and further growth and prosperity to their countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of the Kingdom of Morocco on the occasion of Morocco's throne day. His Royal Highness wished King Mohammed VI abundant health and happiness and to the people of the Kingdom of Morocco further development and progress under their wise leadership. His Royal Highness also praised the strong fraternal relations that unite the two kingdoms. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Captain of the Royal Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa hailed the Royal Team's victory in the Killings International Endurance Championship held in France after jockey Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa won first place in the 160 kilometer race. For his part, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for His Highness's continuous support to the team, which contributed to achieving the first place in the Gillings International Endurance Championship, noting that this victory is a result of His Highness's support for the team. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa indicated that the competition was strong and exciting in all stages of the race, indicating that the victory would be an incentive for the team for the next World Championship. He added that the team is following the plan that was set to reach full readiness for the upcoming World Championship as the team gained great experiences from this positive participation. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa won the first place in the participation of elite jockeys from several European countries. The Southern Governorate Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, received the Director of the Criminal Information Department at the General Department of Criminal Investigation and Evidence at the Ministry of Interior, Colonel Naif Majid Al Majid, on the occasion of the Southern Branch of the Criminal Information Department obtaining a gold category classification within the Evaluation Program for Government Service Centers, Assessment 3. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa lauded the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister to develop and improve the level of government services in accordance to the highest quality standards to achieve sustainable development and serve the country and its citizens. The Governor stressed that the success of the Criminal Information Department in obtaining this distinction came as the result of the support and follow-up of the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to develop and modernize the various departments of the Ministry of Interior. He also noted the importance of facilitating and providing all services to the Southern Governorate through the process of digital transformation and adopting initiatives that ensure the development of government services. For his part, Colonel Naif Majid Al Majid expressed his deep thanks and gratitude to His Highness the Governor for the support and attention he provides to all security services at the Ministry of Interior, which 
will reflect positively on achieving the principle of community partnership to ensure the provision of the best level of services to both citizens and residents. Inspectors from the Ministry of Industry and Trade in cooperation with the National Bureau for Revenue inspected AG shops and commercial establishments in a number of vital commercial areas. During the inspection campaign, 35 violations were detected that required the imposition of administrative fines of up to 10,000 Bahraini dinars, according to the value-added law. In addition, some cases were identified for closure for non-compliance with the application of value-added tax, and accordingly, legal measures would be taken. The Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism and the National Revenue Authority urged establishments to adhere to the implementation of the mechanism of the transitional phase of value added and to deal efficiently and consciously in order to achieve the proper application of the value added tax law.